This is the drawing studio where we teach all of our drawing courses from first year all the way up through uh, third year of our undergraduate programs. Drawing is such a diverse practice in a, in a contemporary sphere and so it's really important that you have a studio that can adapt to that kind of diverse practice and this is a perfect studio for that. We have an incredibly extensive photo area here. We have these beautiful industrial studios as well as analogue dark rooms downstairs as well as computer and scanning facilities as well. So any student who comes here gets access to all aspects of the industry. So these studios are used primarily by sculpture students. What makes these studios really productive spaces for students is about their flexibility. There's so much possibility for an area like this. There's room for making work at great scale and that's not true of every studio situation. But they also have these sort of smaller, more intimate spaces so that students can be working on their projects and feel really supported to develop those in a kind of more intimate setting. Lots of different people use our studios because what we have is unique in Queensland and it's actually one of the few in Australia and actually in Southeast Asia to be honest. We've got a really, really broad range of equipment and some of it is very specific to the jewellery field but some of it definitely isn't. We've got some ancient equipment and some new equipment and it's all things that you can't really access very easily anywhere else. Uh, these studios are unique, particularly in Queensland, because we're the only degree program now that offers printmaking as a studio program. And uh, we offer all the heritage techniques, so we offer uh, relief printing, silk screening, intaglio printing, etching, lithography, uh, digital techniques such as laser engraving, we offer paper making and then we offer book binding. But we also have master printers from across the globe here. The level of expertise in the teaching program here is second to none. So this particular studio of Contemporary Australian Indigenous Art, you feel safe in this space to be able to have an opinion and to share that opinion and to bring awareness and cultural awareness around uh, the, the university itself being sometimes you know the only Indigenous student in the classroom. Cairo is a safe space to come and to connect and find strength from. It's more of a family unit, Kaya. It's more of a place where you just feel so relaxed in the environment. And it's like having your own little family within the university. So level four at South Bank here is an open studio setup, and it has a number of co-located design workshops. And these are 3D printing, laser cutting, and soldering rooms. And these are situated within the studios here. These studios are used by all of our design students here across the majors of 3D product design, immersive design, interaction, visual communication and interior and spatial design. These studios are used by second and third year painting majors that all come together uh, as one group and also as separate classes. We use these studios primarily for studio critiques, so critiques is a really important part of the art school experience where we don't only deliver instruction but we have a lot of learning from peer to peer. So we use studios as an environment for everyone to get together, to look at what one another are doing and to help each other grow as artists. Liveloom's been operating for over 30 years as part of the QCA design program where students can come into here and we operate just like a normal design studio in industry. Uh, we have clients that come in and brief students on the projects and then they get to work on those projects, which are then produced and used in the real world. Here at Griffith QCA campus, it's a place that celebrates creativity, diversity, and the spaces, the teachers, your peers, it creates an environment that you just completely grow as an artist.